Hello and welcome to the third video of Google G Suite and UiPath series. In this video, we'll see how to use Google Drive activities from a G Suite package. The activities associated with Google Drive help us provide with methods to automate our interaction with the Google Drive items, including finding and moving files or also creating folders. An understanding of these activities is also a prerequisite to use Google Sheets and Google Docs activities. So let's see what steps we are going to follow in order to use these activities. So first of all, we'll create a new folder in Drive and then upload a local file into this created new folder. Once this file is uploaded, we'll also see how to share this file with some other user. And thereafter, we'll be moving this file to another folder which already exists in a Drive. So without wasting any time, let's just go back to the project that we created in our previous video. So if you remember in the previous video, we saw how to automate Gmail related activities. And in this video, we'll see how to automate Google Drive activities. So let's just create a new sequence. And we'll call it Google Drive activities. And now just search for G Suite again in the activities. And you will see all the activities that are present under the G Suite. So let's just click on Drive. And since we said we want to first create a folder, so I will use the Create Folder activity. But if you remember, in order to use any of these activities from the G Suite, we need to first use the G Suite application scope. So let's just drag and drop it here. And after adding the G Suite application scope, we'll again add the client ID and the client secret. And in order to get these credentials, we need to go back to our Google Cloud Platform And if you go to console and under API and services, you will find a tab that called credentials. And from here, you'll be able to copy your credentials. So let's just take that. So let's first copy the client ID and paste it here as text. And then we need the client secret. So once that's done, we'll be dragging and dropping all the Google Drive activities that we want to use. And since the first activity that we wanted to use was creating a folder, so let's just drag and drop it here. Now under this create folder activity, if we go into the property panel, there are basically three kinds of inputs. We need to give a folder name, which by default has been set to untitled folder. And we would give it a new name and call it test folder. And if you want, you can also give a description. I'm going to leave it as it is. And the third input parameter you see is the parent ID. The parent ID can be thought to be like a folder path. So in case of local folders, when we create a new folder, we need to give the folder path as an input. Similarly, in case of Google Drive, we need to give an ID of the parent folder where you want to create the folder. Well, in case of the parent ID, there are basically two options. Either you give the ID of already created folder, or if there is no folder that has already been created, you can give root as an input and it will create the folder in your root directory. So let's just give root as an input. And here in the properties panel, you can see that there is an output that calls folder ID. So this ID is the ID that is created when you create a new folder. And if you want to, for example, create a new folder within this newly created test folder, then you would give this ID as a parent ID. So let's just save this folder ID into a variable and call it test folder ID. So now we'll just run this workflow and see if a new folder called test folder is created in our root directory. And if you see here, at first present, there would be a consent screen again and we'll just allow access to this particular application. And here, if you see that the Google is asking your user access for this particular application. So I'll just click on allow and the access has been granted. 
if you see here, we're getting an error which says we do not have enough permissions for this file. And this could be happening because we haven't configured the scopes yet. So let's just stop this workflow. And if we go here, we need to just click on this auto detect. And this will select the scope depending on the activities that you have inside your Google application scope. But let's just also select the drive and file and also the drive here. And once we are done that, let's try and rerun it. And we will again allow access. And now if you see that the message has changed, and in this case, now the Google is saying that our application here is also trying to access and manage your Google Drive. So let's just click on allow. And once the authentication is done, let's just open our Google Drive and see if a new folder has been created or not. So I'll just go to Google Drive. And if you see here, a new folder called test folder has been created. So it means we have been successful in creating a new folder in the drive. So now that we have been able to create the folder, the next step is we want to upload a locally created file into this particular folder. And in order to do that, we will be using the upload file activity. So let's just drag and drop it here. And here you need to give the path of the local file. So let's just give the part of the local file. And in this case, I would be uploading the CSV file that we had created in one of the previous videos of document processing. And this was mainly to do with the RPA challenge of invoice extraction. And we have this response CSV file that was generated after extracting data from the invoices. So I will be uploading this file. So let's just provide the path here. And since the folder is already created, and if I rerun this workflow, a new folder would again be created. So I will just convert this activity into a comment. In case of the upload file ID, there are again two inputs. One is the local file path and the other one is the parent ID. So here the parent ID would be the ID of the test folder that we had created previously. And in order to get the parent ID, one way is to go into your drive and select this folder. And if you see here, there is a random text and this is nothing but the ID of your particular folder that you have created. So let's just copy this and paste it here as a string. And also in the property panel, if you see, there's an output where we can get the ID of this particular file. So let's just get the ID as file ID And now I will again run this workflow. And with this, the new file that we have just added would be uploaded to our Google Drive. So now let's just go back to the Google Drive and see if the new file has been added. And if you see here, the response.csv has been added to our test folder. So as a next step, we would be sharing this file with some other user. Now in order to share the file, you need to give the permission to another user so that he will have access to this particular file. And for that, we will be using the permission activities. So the first step would be to create a file permission. So let's just drag and drop it here in the center. And if you see here in the properties panel, we have certain inputs. And in the input, we need the file ID. Now in order to get the file ID, I will just select this file and open with Google Sheets. And with this, you would be getting the ID for this particular file. So just get this ID from here, just till the edit text and just copy it. And we'll be pasting it here in the file ID parameter. And after adding the file ID, if you see here, we have other options as well. And in case of grantee type, we have certain options. And since we'll be sharing it with a Google account user, so we'll just select a user and the kind of access that we want to give him is just reading access, so I will select it as a reader. And now we need to give the email ID of the particular user. 
So I'll give my personal email ID here. And once that's done, the other option is that if you want to send an email notification to the particular end user, and you can write this message here. And once that's done, if you see here, we also have an option of an output. And within the output, we have a permission variable that would be created. So with this permission variable, you have the option if you want to change the permission in the future. So you can save this into a variable and maybe after some time you can change or update this permission using the activity called update file permission. So once that's done, let's just again run this file and see if the permission of this particular file has changed. And now I would just go back to my Google Drive and check for the permission of that particular file. Now if you see here, the response file has been uploaded and now we would check if it has also been shared with someone or not. And if you right click on this and go under details, you would see that it has also been shared with the user that we had given the mail ID to. And as a next step now, we would be moving this file to another folder. And if you see here, we had one folder that we had created called test folder. And there's another folder called test folder 2 and we would be moving this particular file into test folder 2. So let's just go back to UiPath Studio and see how to do that. So the activity that we need to use is called move file activity. So I'll just move it here. And if you see here under move file activity, there are basically three kind of input parameters that we need to give in. First is the ID of the file that we want to move. And then we need to give also the ID of the folder where we want to move this folder to. So if you remember while uploading the file, we had created an output called file ID and we're using this file ID as an input here. But in case of the destination folder, which is the test folder 2, one way is to directly go onto the web page of Google Drive and get the ID of that particular folder. And there's another way where Drive offers an activity so let's just search for that, which is called find files and folder. So I'll just move this activity here. And if you see here under find files and folders, we have an input for search expression. And with this expression, we'll be able to find the folder that we are looking for. Now in order to define the search expression, the Google Drive already offers certain keywords and field operators. So let's just go and have a look at it. And I have already have the URL here. I will be sharing this URL in the description also. And if you see here, there are certain fields and operators that you can use in order to build your search expression. And there are certain examples as well. And in my case, since we know the name of the folder, so we can use directly this expression, which is called name contains and the name of the folder. So let's just copy this and paste it in the search expression as a text. And instead of hello, I will write the name of the folder that we have and it's called test folder two. So let's just say, okay. And under output, if you see, there are basically two output options. One is the result. The result is nothing but the list of all folders IDs that are being returned by this activity. And feeling lucky is nothing but the first ID of this particular result list. So since I know that there's just one folder with this particular name, so I'll just take the first ID of this result and let's just call it test folder two ID. Or let's just call it test folder ID. And we'll give this here as an input. So once that's done, I will also put in a message box to see the ID that has been given out by this particular activity. So let's just put that in. And now I'll just go ahead and run this particular entire workflow. And before we do that, let's just first delete this particular file so that we don't create a copy. And now I would again run this particular file. So what it is doing, it is first uploading the file and then creating a permission. And if you see here, this is the ID of the test folder too. And if you want to check that if it is right, so let's see that again. And I will go to my drive folder here. And 
and under test folder 2 if you see here this is the id of this particular test folder 2 which is same as the id that we get in the message box so i'll just click on ok and wait for the file to be moved to this particular folder and if you see here the file has been moved to the particular folder that is test folder 2 well in this video the only important part was about how to get the ids of different files and folders and these IDs will then be used in all the other activities within Google Drive. And all the rest of the activities are similar to the previously discussed ones. Well, that's all for the Google Drive activities. If you have any question, then ask in the comment below. And I'll be adding these workflows to Git, so you can also have the link in the description. In the next video, we'll dig deeper into Google Sheet activities. So stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Until then, keep automating.